there's one guy. Oh, uh, wear nothing. Yeah. No shirt, no clothes. But he's always happy, happy, happy. Yeah. And sometimes it rains, sometimes it's scorched by the sun. Some people come and say, you have hands, you have feet, you go out, you know, do some work and then earn money so that you can put some clothes on your back and have something in your possession. Then you'll be, you know, better. He say, no, I'm happy now. I'm very happy. They say, uh, why are you happy? If you have some things, you will be happier. He say, no. <laughs> if I have anything, you think I'll still be happy like now? <laughs> it means he knows whatever he has will cause another trouble. It's true like that. Even if we have our clothes, eh? the more uh, beautiful, the more trouble. You have to take good care of it. Yeah, luckily I don't have to because of some experts in the, my company, I will send it to them and they help me to wash and then uh, put it on for, as I don't know what, advertisement. Must have worried that. I want to buy some, <laughs> for example. Otherwise, if I'm alone, I won't be wearing this. Or if I have to wash them myself, I don't think I would. It's too much trouble. My mobile home now, is uh, small, they say it's small. They told me it's made from a container and very small because I want them already. I can't have it too big. They still is too big for me. They still try to squeeze another room in front and another room on the left. <laughs> the bedroom, yeah. Of course, I appreciate their kindness, yeah? I, I pay, I don't think I get it from them. I don't want to. So uh, the mobile home even, they made it from container, cargo container from the ship. Yeah, Some are bigger, some smaller. They told me a cargo container. I thought it was small. Yeah, uh, immediately, one month is all done. No, and they make it bigger and then bigger and then it's two months, two months and a half. So, okay, fine, I, I accept it. Well, because they make a living room like a normal house, you know, and uh, attached to it is a little kitchenette. And in the front, there's a little coffee room, yeah, Japanese chair, <laughs> sit on the floor drinking coffee. Yeah, if I have time to even make a coffee. They truly had no idea. All of you had no idea that I'm munching a sandwich, signing my, <laughs> you know, uh, document at the same time, meditating while petting my pets at the same time. And washing my teeth while checking uh, some uh, SMTV clips at the same time. How have I even a leisure to make a coffee, sit there and sipping like a princess? <laughs> so that room is a waste, but I can't take it off. <laughs> it's attached just like you cannot free yourself from your husband. You're attached to each other <laughs> by some invisible <laughs> cement, yeah? So I don't blame you. My house, I cannot detach that part. Of course I can. I have to call experts to come in, eh? pour away the, uh, the wall, eh? that piece of roof, and then seal it all back again. It would take another month, you know, with all the mess to clean up and everything to fix it back again. Because there's also a balcony, and then you have to take balcony away first and wrap it back again. Oh, my God. So I say, forget it, fine. And then Me? make a bedroom also. Bedroom with a, oh, I say, well, you call it queen size bed, maybe not a king size though, but it must be a queen size. They think I'm a queen, so I deserve a queen size bed. <laughs> I lie on it once. It's truly comfortable. It's the best bed you can have. You know, beautiful sheets and uh, satin like linen. When I came, it was still hard, and you lie in this cool sheet, you know and cover yourself with this satin. I didn't cover it myself. I was worried I would go to sleep because it's too comfortable. Okay, I left it there for a couple of weeks. And I didn't know what to do with it. I just lied it once and it's too comfortable, very comfortable. I'm worried the Buddha say, you don't lie on high and wide bed. And I was thinking I have to study that why first before I really sleep on that bed. It's very comfortable how they make the bed. The, the room is small, but the bed is big. And even <laughs> yes, a little sofa, a small uh, reading chair and a table, very nice. 
Truly, truly very nice. Very simple, yeah, but nice. And then before I went to sleep, I immediately had to jump out of the bed. You know, I have a lot of work to do. If I'm like, yeah, I will sleep maybe forever and go to the Havana as well. So after moving all my dresses and stuff, you know, into, into the new house, I was still thinking where to put it. First I put them in the new cave, yeah. And then later I say it's too far away from the ho- main house, you know. I can't afford to keep running back and forth. Maybe I forget the lipstick or my I just I just uh, draw only one one eyebrow and forget the other. <laughs> and then I have to run again <laughs> to the cave to get a pencil. Yeah? And if the pencil is broken, then I have to uh, uh etc. Yeah. And the bathroom is in the middle, you know, and so if I go in and out and if I, I wear this kind of beautiful dress, the, the rain will rain in. I cannot say, go ahead and rain, God. <laughs> you know, I'm going to the meditation hall now, just rain, you know. Yeah, it's so very inconvenient, yeah, because my time is really very tight. So I took out the bed. With uh, some a little regret, I have to confess, <laughs> because I tried once a few minutes and it's really comfortable. For a long time, I didn't have this kind of comfortable physical feeling, you know, especially when you're older and your bones kind of don't stay where they're supposed to stay. <laughs> so it is such a bed, it's really regulated, very comfortable. So I was also afraid that I would be too comfortable. Because if I'm too comfortable, I might not be able to remember other people who don't have enough comfort. So out it went, out, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I put all my dresses and everything in there next to my uh, working office. So it's convenient, you know? Because I work sometimes and then I take a little break or something. Then in those few minutes, I can go and arrange my things, because it was not arranged when it first came. It was all in suitcases and bags. And, oh, so it was very convenient. They moved all the things in a long time ago, but because it's in a cave far away, and when I work, and in just a few minutes, I can just go there and then come back again to work, and you know? But if it's next to the, my little office room, the office is about two by two, yeah? about the size of the, this platform. And next to it is a is a room, a little bit bigger, and I put all my dresses and things I need there. Yeah, very convenient. And in no time, I fix it. I can arrange everything. Before, it's been laying there too long, because out of sight, out of mind, you know, I'm too lazy to go. Originally, I wanted to live in the cave, that's why I brought all the things there. But then the dogs are with me. In the cave, they have less room with all the dresses and table, <laughs> you know, makeup table, and hats and shoes, is not enough room for dogs and me. So I thought, okay, I have to sacrifice the cave. <laughs> uh, the mobile home is good, it's just that they make it too big, you know. I mean, it's not big, it's good, actually it's not very big. Just, it is good for dogs to also be in there. In the beginning, when it came, it was all empty, you know? Even the small room looked very big, yeah? And the Japanese room is, uh, is also about this big, you know? The desk here, the platform here, about that big. It's a nice house, actually, truly. <laughs> it's just that uh, I really feel like I should just live in a small cave or room somewhere. They cheated me, you know, they told me, just a small mobile home container, Master, just a container. So I thought like the container we had before, you know, (laughs) small and simple. But they made it into like a house. It looks like a country house, very nice. Yeah, they put a roof on top of it, so it made it like a real house. The container is only square, you know, and maybe rectangular. But they put a roof on it, and they cut... Uh, the wall to make a house and windows, yes, and inside they make some uh, padding or some kind of, looks like column, you know, Roman, Roman columns, Italian, a half and pat it on it, it looked <laughs> look like a very <laughs> a good house, <laughs> uh, not quite rich, but very decent, uh, well decorated, yes. Okay, now you know my secret. So the God, the rain God can rain, I go. 
<laughs> did you eat already? Yes. Oh, you did, right? Oh, I came late, right? Uh, you enjoyed? Yeah. Spoiled us. Oh, spoiled you. Oh, never mind. We have money, okay? Food I can afford. Food and simple clothes, yes. So I even uh, in my house, I have all the... So the dressing room, I reserve it for the dogs anyway, yes. So my bedroom is out, <laughs> my bed is out. So I just have a little co corridor to walk in and out to choose a dress, that's all. I feel very happy, very compact. The dogs are there, dresses are there, uh, the kitchen is there, uh, <laughs> the sofa. I just, you know, have a small sofa. You can put it up like a sofa or you can open it and it becomes like a little bed. Yes. But that bed you have to be careful because the four legs are on one side and the one that will open up has no legs. If you're not careful, you, the sofa will be on top of you instead of, <laughs> of you on top of the sofa. <laughs> My dog <laughs> had that happen. <laughs> and he's was sandwich in between. <laughs> he was so scared. The big dog, you know, he's too heavy, you know. He just uh, turned around, you know. If you sleep on this stable side with the four legs, and you may just put an arm on the other side, or a leg on the other side, or lean a little bit. But if you completely roll over to the other side, then the sofa will sandwich you. <laughs> it claps back, you know. <laughs> or you'll be under the sofa instead of you on top. <laughs> yeah, but I'm skillful. I have skillful means. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Mm. Everything is good now, huh? Yes. <laughs> so I say the dress is there, the dogs are there. Food come every day, so rain God, if you want, go ahead and rain. <laughs> I feel a little bit more settled now. When I first came, so many bags, so many uh, suitcases, and I had to do it myself, you know? I don't want anybody else to do it for me, because then, then I might not be able to find what I want, you know? Number one, number two, I, I prefer to do things myself. Before, I would be happy to have helpers. Nowadays, I know the truth. <laughs> you know, people bring not just their physical strength to help you. They bring their stacks of karma. Oh, you have no idea. If you knew, you'd be very scared. That's why many rich people or the king and big um, politicians, they don't fare very well because they have too many helpers and they didn't know about the karmic consequences. You truly don't know. Some people bring you marital problems. Some people bring you gossiping problems. You know, your reputation problems. Some people bring you any other misfortune that you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> 